places of worship can now resume at full capacity, according to the Phase 4 of the guidelines of phase reopening of places of worship. The Interfaith Council, led by Archbishop Anthony Moheria, speaking after the Ministry of Health revised COVID-19 protocols, urged the elderly and the vulnerable people planning to congregate in places of worship to be vaccinated. Dolly Murigi has more. The current statistics on the pandemic indicate that the infection has greatly decreased with the prevalence rate remaining under 0.5% for the last two months and COVID-19 deaths reducing drastically to only a few. The total vaccination drive has now reached 7.7 .7 million fully vaccinated with 16.9 million having received the first dose accounting for 28% adults now vaccinated. Thank you. Addressing the meeting Monday, the Interfaith Council announced the resumption of full capacity in the places of worship, advising that the Ministry of Health protocols must be adhered to. We therefore now advise that the places of worship can resume full capacity according to the phase four of the guidelines of phased reopening of places of worship. Two. The time limits for the services is also lifted. All elderly and vulnerable can now attend the worship. We commend at the same time that it will be highly advisable that they be vaccinated. Although we will not be requiring the proof of vaccination in places of worship. Last week on Friday, the government lifted the mandatory wearing of masks but encouraged the wearing of masks during end of functions to curb the spread of the virus. The council has still urged Kenyans not to lower the guard since the pandemic is not yet over, even with the reduction of the infection cases. We continue to be concerned about the political gatherings that have totally ignored any measures of protection and the manner of crisscrossing of our nation. This still remains the greatest danger and risk in case of any new outbreak. We urge our political leaders to at least put in place some measures of protection and prudence of avoiding handshaking and ensuring sanitation. Kenyans have been urged to be attentive and come to aid of the many families affected seriously by the COVID-19 pandemic, singling out the COVID orphans and widows. The government too has been urged to seek ways of mitigating the strife through some means of support. Dolly Mirigi, Hope TV, Nairobi. Thank you so much, Dolly, for that report.